Houston's own Juan Villarreal. Give it up, everybody. What's up, fuckers? Right. Give it up one more time for Paul, man. That's a real G right there, motherfucker. Y'all don't even know. Give it up one more time for Danny. Everybody see, get up for Danny. That shit was funny with Danny Martinez. Danny played a big part in my comedy role, man. He used to let me come up and, and do time at his club and guided me a little bit and shit. So I owe a lot of shit to Danny, man, to let me do his club. It was fun. Danny was a cool fucker, man. Always happy and shit. That's what life's about is happiness, fuckers. You know what I mean? Be happy no matter what happens to you. Just be happy. Fuck it, you're alive, you know what I mean? White people, when you get fired, you know what I mean? Stop shooting motherfuckers already. God damn it, to learn how to get fired. You gotta learn how to get fired, that's it. I come home, I fly in, and that's the first thing I see is a fucking NASA tragedy. My dad right away, no, but some, somewhere Leo got a gun, and this and that, like, they said he's white. That's what it is. Why people, you get fired and you want to go back and shoot everybody. Fuck, dude, that's crazy. Go home and smoke a joint and think about it. <laughs> Fuck, I don't think about it. Mexicans, we get fired every fucking day. We don't care. You're, fucking, you're not going to control our thoughts or our emotions or nothing. You might control our rent money or our little wee money, but Mexican won't even finish a fucking day. The Mexican be up there working. Hey, today's your last day. I go home right now. <laughs> White people, you, you don't want to finish out the day? Yeah, maybe I work overtime too. White people get fired and they just start driving home and start thinking about all the shit they got to explain to their wife and their family. They don't know how to do it. And they just get fucking crazy. And, Man, fuck it! <laughs> they ain't gonna fire me. I'm gonna shoot me somebody. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm some Pearland, motherfucker. You don't fuck a Pearland. I'm fucking answer that gut. Damn it, I'm gonna shoot somebody. God damn. I got a friend of mine who works here. He works. He's a friend of mine. He works here. And this fucker has a friend who was in the building. They evacuated. He was in a conference room. While this was going on, they were watching it on a monitor. And he said that his friend, you know, it's not a joke or nothing, you know what I mean? It's a sad thing, so, you know, people die, but he said, man, dude, my buddy looked at the monitor and said, man, I hope that fucker ain't got a diaper on. <laughs> that was funny, fuckers. Cause that's when you knew it was a white guy, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, white people, they, you gotta, you know what I mean? And, and you know, I know the Virginia Tech, another tragedy. But that's when men, we have to be men. In this day and age, we have to be prepared for shit like that now. I mean, they already took planes and wrecked into fucking buildings and killed innocent civilians. We know how fucked up people are. Suicide bombers are using kids and shit. We already know that. We got to adapt to that. We got to be ready for shit. All the time, you got to be ready for shit. That little fucker that killed all them students at Virginia Tech. I, I'm a comic, dude. You know what I mean? I like to be happy shit, but sometimes, you know, I have feelings. I, I was crying, fuckers. I cried when I seen that shit. I thought, that's some fucked up shit. And then I got mad. After crying, I got mad because I was like, God damn, but it was only one little crazy fucker. <laughs> it was just one. And so there was a lot of students in this one little fucking Chinese or South Korean knees or one of them goddamn knees. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it was just one. That's what I'm trying to say, it was just one. And then you know what? I have four sons. I'm teaching my sons to be fucking men. My son are men, they're, they're gonna be manly in any fucking situation. As I said, you gotta be a man. If somebody comes in shooting in a fucking room, be a man and let all the ladies out first. Help them out. These little kids, I know they were young and they were scared, but they were like, watch out, bitch, boy. That's some whole ass shit, dog. That's fucked up. I'm thinking if somebody comes in shooting in a fucking room and there's one or two pretty girls or she don't even have to be that pretty. Look, ladies. No, no, she don't even have to be that pretty. Ladies, listen. This is, this is how you get the motherfucker. When somebody comes in crazy and shooting, one of you ladies with pretty titties jump up and just pick up your shirt and go like that. Like, just, you got to take over the team. Go like that and go like that. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter how 
mad he's shooting or how fast, every man is gonna stop to acknowledge some teachers. Then he'll be like, bah, bah, bah. That's what you get a laptop with and throw it at that motherfucker. Get your laptop like a That's when you get him right there. And you fuck him up right there. Man. Makes me mad. And I said Paraland because I was playing around with the copies from Paraland. What's up, fucker? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking weed, man, just makes you forget shit. Because like, oh. it's like my hand, like, motherfucker, the cops from Paraland, what are you doing? Like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm just doing my job, sir. These are jokes, fucker. You can't do nothing again. This is my job. This is my job. This is my job. <laughs> I'm not profiling or nothing, you know what I mean? I just, <laughs> we, just, we just gotta have fun, fuckers. That's, you know what I mean? We ha you have fun. And you know, I, I can't help but acknowledge this. I know that I sold out again tonight, so thank you for coming out supporting me. I sold out. I know, I know this ain't the Toyota Center, the Verizon. I don't give a fuck. I sold out, fuckers. You know what I mean? So. Cause you know, we're doing a door deal and I'm counting every one of you fuckers at 20, 24. I'm buying a lot of weed, by the way. Fucking hydro and everything. What do you want to tell me? <laughs> oh, man. Just having fun coming home, dude. Just, just coming home, seeing that tragedy and shit. It was just kind of fucked up, but I love coming home. And you know, I love, you know, coming home, fucking, fucking with the Mojaos. I see my neighbor. Que paso, wey? Que paso, culero? I mean, they're cool. And, I go to Taco Madre and get their fucking tortas and shit. ¿Quieres frijoles? Sí, ya sabes que tiene. Si quiero frijoles, la pinche. I'm a motherfucker. Willie's got a big dick. That's funny. I'm going to use that next time, Danny. Fuck that. Do some shit. Hey, fuck it. What's up? Willie got a big dick. Thank you, Danny. That's good, fucker. That'll fuck up anybody when hit you, you'll be like, <laughs> who's we? <Willie? laughs> oh, man. I mean, I love coming home, and I, I hate some of the shit, you know what I mean? Traffic's fucked up, and I know it's fucked up, and the commercials, you know, I still don't like all their commercials, and, you know, like, Hilton is my boy, man. That fuck, that's one of my sponsors, but, man, if I see them Hilton kids one more time, <laughs> He's got them little kids down there. That's a fat jack. Like, oh, hell no. God damn. If I see the fucking scrap metal kids one more time, ooh, then fucking we'll pay you a $2 bill. Ah, yeah. God damn. Little ugly fuckers. The dad's ugly, the mom's ugly, and they're ugly. And the whole scrap metal family's ugly. <laughs> Tell him I said, fucker, I got a lot of cousins, I don't care, fucker. <laughs> I go to Denver Harbor and come back with about 50 motherfuckers like that, man. <laughs> you scared of the scrap metal people? <laughs> we'll steal all their fucking $2 bills. <laughs> I mean, they're cool. They provide a service for, you know, Houston. They're, they're cool fuckers. They're just, you know, shit that I acknowledge and shit. And I'm glad that that black guy, black people, y'all had one for a while, dog. He's getting on my nerve. Remember Rick's furniture? Remember, dude? That motherfucker was trying to rap and sell furniture at the same time. That motherfucker was like, what you gonna give me for that bedroom set? And what you gonna give me? <laughs> I was at home like, nigga, please. Hell no. <laughs> nigga, they get Machiavelli or some shit. <laughs> Illuminati, like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what you gonna give? Hey, hey, you know what's fucked up, bro? Now his son is doing commercials, dude. Have you seen that younger dude? It looks like him a little bit, but they both wear like fucked up shirts all the time, so I know that. He's like, oh, that's fucked up. That's his son. <laughs> you gonna see, you gonna see Rick's son. We'll even pay you a two dollar bill. Dude. <laughs> oh. I love coming home, dude. You know, like I said, man, the the, the Mohawks they showed me love, and cause they were mad at me for a little while. Uh, you know, I did Mohawk joke. White people are wetbacks. That's that's where when I say Mohawks, that's wetbacks. And you know, I know I offend some people by saying that, and I don't mean to offend nobody, fuckers. That, that's just, they're wetbacks, you know what I mean? That's, that's it. You can't, that's just it, fuckers. 
and white people, I wrote the wetback jokes for you. Cause, cause, Cause you were confusing all of us. You thought like we were all the same shit. Like Mexicans and wetback, oh, they're all the same. Like, no, we're not. We're, we're Mexicans. These wetbacks are following us. Hey, back off. Ooh, three feet. Three back up. And white people, and white people, they do wetback shit for you. Wetbacks do shit, I, I did this last time, man, and I'm just gonna do it real quick, but wetbacks do this shit for you, man. They, they want you to know they're wetbacks. You know what I mean? They do shit for you so you can spot them, like, they buy them forty, fifty thousand dollar trucks and fucking put their name in the back, Rodriguez. That's a wetback, fuckers. You know, white guy, I seen them, I seen them. I know, fucker, we all have. Fuck up a forty fucking thousand dollar truck, man. That's crazy. I was in El Paso. I saw a fucking Hummer, bladed out plasma, hundred thousand dollar vehicle on the back. Rodriguez with a fucking Nike sign. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? I was calling my manager. Are these fuckers merging or what? <laughs> Bitch, I'm telling you, Nike is making Hummers. I just saw one. <laughs> I, I think they're Air Hummers or something. I don't know. Fuck, man. Can't even, can't even smoke a joint behind a wetback because they fucking got Jesus on the tailgate like that. That's some fucked up shit. Why would you want to have Jesus on your tailgate? I'm behind you. I'm trying to hit my little weed. I'm looking at Jesus looking at me and I got like... Those are the jokes that I did for the white people so they can, you know, identify us. You know what I mean? And now they know the difference and shit. White people, you ever go like to Walmart and see a Mexican lady in a prom dress with socks? You know what I mean? That's a wet back. That's a wet back to the second power right there. That, that lady just got here. Walmart, big old striped socks and shit. Like, oh, hell no. Wearing Air Force Ones and shit. You know? Little girl got a matching dress just like the mama. Like, oh, hell no, look at that. I swear to God, dude, look, it's two of them. I swear to God, don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. They coming, they don't make me laugh. Man. Man. But, you know, they work, though. You know what I mean? Webbacks are the hardest working fuckers. You know that. They, they do, man. I, I got it. And you know what, white people, don't get us wrong. We don't hate wetbacks. We don't hate wetbacks. Most of us in here got more how cousins working all over this country. And we love our familia. We, I love my primos. I, I got 20, I got 20 cousins Mojados living at Willow Creek right now, fuckers. Uh, right there for that Wood Ridge, for that Wood Ridge behind the McDonald's right there, fucker. You don't believe me, go to apartment 1804 and watch. They're all using my social security number, all my cousins. I mean, you gotta ask, like, you know Juan, they're gonna, they're gonna be quick, like, why, why, why you wanna know, okay? <laughs> well, what he do, what he do? <laughs> 1804, go to 1804, fuck you think I'm playing. They get mad at me too, man, when I say, hey, wait, you know, man, this, every day, you know Juan, you know what he is, you know what? Todos los días, güey, no te chingan a la verga, güey, no mames. You know Juan, you know Juan? Man. Those are my cousins, man. We love they work. Like I said they work hard. They do shit. That, you know what I mean? They, they pass up Mexicans that are born here. You know what I mean? They have more ambition than us and shit. Cause like like like, like webbacks come over here and and some of them don't even want to work. They just open up businesses. You fuck around, get like a webback, like two tires and a jack. They got a tire shop. <laughs> God damn. They're in business, bitch. They're franchising. <laughs> Dude, you give a fucking uh, wet back a bus, they got a mobile restaurant. That is a mobile restaurant. That's why Marvin Ziegler can't fuck with the wetbacks. You don't see him now, now he's trying to catch up to him, but at first Marvin Ziegler couldn't fuck with the more house, dude, because all they get is it's a bus. That shit really is, it's a real bus. I know they got tables in the windows and they sell tortas and shit, but that's a bus, it's got a motor, they can go, bitch. That shit's retractable, fuckers. All they need is one outlet. They'll find an outlet, they'll plug it in there, turn that bitch open the window, the TV comes out and everything, yeah. 
They see Marvin's in there coming out of the car, shit, they'll unplug that bitch. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Marvin's in there be like, hey, hold on, man, hey, god damn it. I know there's slime in them goddamn trucks. Back to you, Dave. Marvin's in his own man. Come on, let's go fuck with the Chinese on Bel Air. There's <laughs> just too many of them. <laughs> Shit. And see, and, and the Mohals were mad at me, man. They, they got mad at me. They, they got mad at me, you know, because I did uh, Que Locos, a TV show Que Locos on Galavision. And, and I was buzzing, fuckers, you L.A., they got that good weed and stuff, so I was buzzing, and I forgot what material I was gonna do, because a lot of comics write down their material, and I don't ever do that shit. So I was gonna do some material, and I got on stage, and I forgot. So I started doing the Mojau jokes. And that shit was working, everybody was laughing and shit, but my manager was in the back like, hey, fuck you, what the fuck you doing, wait, you know what I mean? And I was, I was going, fuckers, and you know, that shit was Galavision. You know what I mean? The name of the show was called Que Locos on Galavision. I was doing wetback jokes like on the wetback channel. <laughs> oh my God. That fucked me up. I was like, and I didn't know more house had access to the internet. I get emails from my house to woman that ching up to put a matter with son. You're not even funny, puto. George Lopez is funny and you puto sin. I got fucking paletero stuck in my house. Them ice cream dudes, the, the motherfucker that sell ice cream with a bike. White people, you drive a truck and shit. Wetbacks want a fucking bike and put an ice chest on that bitch. They don't need no insurance, gas, driver license, nothing. All they need is energy. I said, you get a motherfucker two tacos and a Red Bull, they will pedal the whole neighborhood. <laughs> Motherfuckers going around my house, it's looking for me. I gotta run in my car and shit. Damn, there's another one right there. Who the fuck? Damn. You gotta let me see on. Like I said, you know what I mean? I, I, I feel comfortable saying way back. Some of you white people were kind of hesitant and laughing. You're like, hey, hey, hey. That might be a trap. You never know. <laughs> I know, I know you're a little afraid of stuff, and I know, man, because, you know, you, you don't know who's a wetback now sometimes, because they got undercover wetbacks. That's what's fucked up. That's what's fucked up, dude, when they're undercover, you know what I mean? When they don't wear, like, Mohau shit, like shit they're supposed to wear. Like, I was at a club, dude. I don't drink, fucker. I went and got me a Dr. Pepper and shit, and uh, there was a Mexican dude standing there, and this fucker had on some FUBU and Timberlands and shit. I thought that was a regular Mexican, dog. I go to him, like, What's up, fucker? Checking out the honeys or what? No, I'm gonna wait those men. Oh, fucking wait, man. Hell no. God, everybody saw me talking to him too. God damn. What's the fuck? You're not supposed to wear a fubu. <laughs> you feel me now? I'm gonna get fubu on. What? Oh, shit, it's fucked up. And I can say, you know, wet back, I can feel comfortable saying that because my mom was a wet back for 62 years. 62 years, bro. She just got her card about three years ago. And now she thinks she's all bad and shit. As soon as she got it, my mom thought she was all bad, bro. I took my mom to Walmart. My mom, you know, come in, look. Fucking wet backs, me now. <laughs> me, I used to dress like that. Remember me, you know, when I did that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do, Mom. <laughs> I sure hey, do. <laughs> oh, man. So, like I said, man, we just have fun. You know, white people, I hope, you know what I mean, black people, too. I hope you fuckers laughed at the wetback jokes, you know what I mean? Because I'm going to make fun of your ass next, so, you know what I mean? <laughs> Might as well get that shit out the way right now. <laughs> Just have fun with everybody, you know what I mean? Don't let me offend you, fuckers. This is a comedy show. That's what I do. My shows are fun, and we, I just talk a lot of shit. I'm a stoner, and that's what I think of most of my shit, so we're gonna have fun. So don't let me offend you or, or make you mad or none of that shit. Let the jokes go. As soon as you leave the fucking house tonight, just let them go, I let them go. Don't try to analyze this shit or nothing, because it will fuck your head up. If you, if you 
can live my life, you will not trust me. It's gonna fuck you up, bro. You will be fucked up. You have to live my life to, you know, to be me, fuckers. And like I said, I grew up really poor, so it was fucking hard. Like, like really poor. I was poor, fuckers. Not like, you know, some people that I meet today and you know, some friends and cousins and shit. I go to their house and they got two cars and a nice home. And, and they're like, I'm like, what are y'all doing? And, oh, we can't do nothing this month. We're poor this month. <laughs> What'd you say? No, we're poor this month, dude. Damn, bro, you could be poor for a month? <laughs> I didn't even know that shit. I ain't never even heard of that. Oh, we're poor this month. Bitch, you're broke this month. You're not poor. You can't have two cars and a nice home and be fucking poor. That's not poor. I was poor, fuckers. I know what poor is. Poor is like, poor is like when the light company comes to your house at night. <laughs> And they blow out your candles. <laughs> we said no lights. <laughs> they said I said no lights. No I can't even do my homework right now. <laughs> That's poor, fuckers. That's how poor I was. Poor is when you got fucked up credit at the age of seven. I came home from the third grade. I was like, damn, what the fuck? This is my name on this red bill. Like, what the fuck is this? Who, who's HLMP, man? I don't know that, bitch. Why, why I own $62? I own $62, dad? <laughs> My dad, give me that shit, cabrón. <laughs> that's why I just have fun, fuckers, and, and that's what I do. I, I'm a stoner. I know I scared a little, uh, a few people a while back. I scared some people because I lost weight. Cause I was gonna be doing some movies, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be doing some movies. So I try to lose weight, I've been working out and stuff, and uh, you know, cause I gotta chase some fuckers and jump over a car, jump over a fan or whatever. And, and I was like, well, where, where's the stuntman? <laughs> That's what I told them, and they're like, you're not there yet. You don't get no stuntman right now, fucker. Like, all right. So I lost weight and shit, but in this business, when you lose weight, it's not cool. I mean, you lose weight in this business, right away the fucking rumors start flying and shit. Yo, I lost fucking weight, dude. People are like, well, watch out, why look? He's all skinny weight. Hey, you know why, right? You know, he's fucking with that shit. <laughs> no, he's fucking with that shit. I thought I could tell he's fucking with that shit. And then, you know, other comedians were, you know, had a little bit more compassion for me. Like, no, no, he's got cancer. <laughs> you know, gonna, that, that's why he wears a hat, a pelona aquí. He's got cancer, bald headed. And, I'm not pelon, fuckers. I just don't like combing my hair. I just put a hat on so I have to comb my hair, fuckers. And, yeah, yeah. And then the other one, of course, you lose weight. The other one, uh, AIDS. One's got AIDS. <laughs> no, no, he's got AIDS. He's gonna die. He's got AIDS. Man. And that was the hardest rumor to fucking take because I couldn't get panocha for months. <laughs> that was some fucked up shit right there. Okay, I couldn't get no panocha though. Back then, I couldn't get none. Trust me, I, I had to go to the fucking chinas on telephone row and shit. <laughs> I just play. I ain't never been to no Rosalind Club. <laughs> Miyako Studio, what the fuck, what are you talking about? <laughs> All the single guys are laughing, the married guys are like, I hey, <laughs> That's a man's secret. <laughs> hey, yeah, we can't touch those chinas, they get me thrown. <laughs> Oh, man, it was fucked up though, man. I couldn't get no button on the fuck. I had to ask ladies, hey, is it, can I, let me shoot it right here then. Can I just shoot it right here? Can, can I shoot it right here? <laughs> that joke is funny to me. <laughs> Yo, but I, I heard all the ladies, oh, whatever, fuckers. You ladies are at the club and there's people around you and you're probably embarrassed to fucking show your true emotions, so I know you're a little conservative. But I know every one of you ladies have gotten fucked up, buzzed out with your boyfriend or husband. I don't even both of them. The the guy feels all guilty. I'm sorry, man. I had too much pressure. It was going everywhere like that. I couldn't stop it. It was too much pressure. She got been. It's been a long time. She got been. I I ate a lot of guacamole. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Cochinas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I'm just a stoner. Fuck, I don't, I don't fuck with no shit. I ain't. I tried cocaine. I did, and I don't judge nobody. I got a lot of friends that do coke, and it's cool. If you can do cocaine and that's your thing, and you can, you know, maintain your family and still maintain a job, and you know, as long as it doesn't fuck you up, as long as you're still a man and providing, go ahead, fuck her party. You know what I mean? I, that, that's cool. I don't judge nobody. I got cousins like that that want to take me out, but I don't do cocaine. You know what I mean, I, I tried it in like in '92, '93. And I think my cousins gave me some fake shit because I didn't, you know what I mean? Because they know that I don't, I don't do it, but I wanted to do it because they were doing it. Well, let me try it, let me try it. I, I think they gave me something else. I don't know, because I didn't feel shit, fuckers, you know what I mean? I didn't, it might have been flour, my fucking, I was all dry and shit. Shit tastes like tortillas, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? And now, you know, my cousins, they, they want to take me out. They, they want to take me out with them and shit. And, you know, Mexicanos are hard, dude. Like, if I don't go out with my cousins, they get mad sometimes. They're like, you know, what's up, fucker? Come on, we're going to go to Slick Willie's, play some pool, fucker. You're in town. Let's go, bro. And I'm like, hey, I, I got to fly tomorrow. I can't, you know, hang out tonight. But, uh, oh, come on, bitch. You did that. And I don't want to hang out with them because I know they, they, they like to fuck around and party. I know they do coke, you know what I mean? And, you know, a long time ago, it was different. You know, laws were different. See, back in long, long time ago, dude, about 10 years ago, something like that, if you got caught with cocaine, fucker, and you was in a car with four people, you were going to jail. Your friends were going, hey, you should have threw it away, girl. You should have eaten it. You should have eaten it. You know what I mean? The cops would just want that motherfucker. Now the cops got smart and came out with that law, guilty by association. So now if one motherfucker has something in the car, that, all y'all got it. And I ain't going to jail for something that I don't do, fuckers. If me and you gonna go steal something and we get caught, let's go to jail. Fuck yeah, they look, we been they caught us, way they caught us. I'm a man, motherfucker. I'm gonna pay. I'm a man. I'm gonna take my own heat. But I'm not going to jail for cause you wanna do coke. You know what I mean? I'm not going to jail for you, fucker. But my cousins is different cause we're familia. Like, come on, fucker, we're gonna go. Let's go. Man. I'm like, bro, I can't go, dude. I can't. Fuck you, eh? Think you're all bad now, and shit. You know, fucking BT. <laughs> I'm on TV with Sandra. You changed, I told you, not even real no more, way. You're not real, you don't even steal cable, you're paying for that shit, I saw it, man. <laughs> man we used to steal cable, why, what the fuck? You don't eat spam no more, way. You eat spam, one? you eat spam? I'm like, bitch, I've been eating spam since I was a little kid, fucker. I was raised by a single dad, I, I, I love spam. And people are like, hey, you don't need spam. Yes, I do, fucker. I love spam. I fry that shit up in the morning, smoke a joint with some tortillas and shit. That shit goes down, fuckers. Yeah. I'll be watching the prices, right? One dollar! One dollar! <laughs> Spin it again! <laughs> uh, shit, I've been eating spam. I'm an old school spam eater. Remember fucking the old school spam? Remember the spam that came with a fucking key in the can? Remember that shit? Remember you lose the key, you lose your fucking mind. Hey, where's the fucking key? Where's the key, me? I'm not playing, man. I don't know. You better find the goddamn key, me. I'm not fucking with you right now, me. Shit, we ate so much fucking spam, I had a spam key around my neck. Fuck it, I never lost my shit. I got it right here, dad. I hate when dad be tripping like this, man. <laughs> Shit. My cousins want me to go hang out with them. Come on, you're not real. So I'm like, let's go, fucker. Come on, you know what I mean? I'm like, take me by the ATM so I can get some bail money just in case for me, you know what I mean? I, I know I'm getting out tonight, you know what I mean? And then, then, then we get the Slick Willies, dude, and we start racking up the balls. You know, like, we just got the balls, whatever. We just ordered the drinks. We haven't even started the fucking game. My cousin real loud and shit, dude. You know what I mean? He could be discreet, but he's real loud. Hey, I'm going to the restroom. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm going to the restroom. I'll be back. I'm like, all right, fuck her, go. And you know, I know he's not going to pee. You know what I mean? I know he's not going to go pee. I know he's going to go do some coke. I know he's not gonna pee, cause he just peed outside the parking lot like five minutes ago. <laughs> so my cousin goes to the fucking bathroom and he comes back. And you know what's funny? That some people that do cocaine, you make these fucking cocaine faces, but you don't think you do. But everybody else can see them, you know what I mean? You think you're being cool. 
My cousin comes out the bathroom, he's like. <laughs> I go up to him, what the fuck, dude? What are you doing? What? <laughs> Who's winning? <laughs> I'm like, bitch, you're eating your lips. Stop doing that. Everybody is looking at us. <laughs> Fucking haters. <laughs> Just cause they can't handle it. Oh. Those are, those are my nights. Those are my nights with my cousins, bro. And like I said, I, I tried cocaine, dude. I tried it one time for real, 93. I was at a Hollywood party. There was some major celebrities. I'll never say who, but it was like some big people there. I, I had one of my cousins with me, and I'm like, hey, fucker, I, I, I want to do some. Come on, I, I want to do some. And he said, do some what? Like, come on, fucker, I want to do the, the, the white. You know, the, the, they got the code names and shit. You know what I mean, it's funny, right? When, remember that? Remember when you buy weed? You used to be all paranoid on the phone. You couldn't even say, I want to buy a dime. Like, hey, what's up? You got any carpet? <laughs> remember that shit, dude? My cousins, hey, I need a whole roll of green carpet. <laughs> Those were the colds back then. Hey, you got any white? Like, so I was like, come on, fucker, you, you know, I want to do some. Everybody's doing some. And he's like, but that ain't your thing, dude. Why, why do you want to do this if it's not you? You know what I mean? You be you, fucker, and you don't have to worry. I'm like, nah, dude, I want to do some. Maybe they'll put me in a movie or something. Fuck this time. <laughs> so I, I did some, right? And, and you know, when he took me to the bathroom, he took out his wallet and pulled out a little baggie and got his car key and went like that. He goes, I'm gonna give you a little bump, dude, so this and that. So when he made a little bump, you know, I've never like really done cocaine. I've seen it done in movies and shit. And every time I've seen it, it's like a lot. Like, you know, like on Scarface and shit. Remember when Scarface, remember? That motherfucker had a pile, he was like, you know what I mean? I thought we were gonna do some cocaine. This motherfucker has a little bit on a key. And he go here to do this, and like, you greedy motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck is that gonna do to me? <laughs> this shit I was... What the fuck you doing, man? What the fuck, give me some, dude. I wanna do like, like a lot, dude. Like, like, come on, fucker, man, don't knock. Like, I knocked it out of his hand. I thought he was fucking with me. So he does it again. Like, dude, I ain't give you no more. You do this shit. <laughs> and I was like, for real, you want me to do that? He goes, if you want more, I'll give you more. So I did it, man. I fucking took the little bump thing. And, and then, you know, that ain't my thing. I knew that because when I walked back to the party, I, it started like, going down my throat and didn't feel like that tortilla shit that I tried before. You know what I mean? <laughs> this shit, then it got to my fucking chest. My heart was like, and I was like, Ooh, man. I was like, man, I was trying not to make them faces, you know what I mean? I was like, Ooh, man. And you know what I hate? You know what I hate about people that, people that do cocaine? Some of you fuckers can handle it. You can. You can handle it. And I hate when you lie to fuckers and say, it only lasts about 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> Maybe to you fuckers, because your fucking system's immune to it. But I did that shit like at 9.30. And my heart was like, and it's like 12 o'clock now. My heart is still, God damn. He takes me home by 2.30. It won't go away, fuckers. Four o'clock in the morning. At 4.30, I'm fucking vacuuming my apartment. The neighbor downstairs, what the fuck, bitch? He's on that shit, I know he is. Nobody vacuums at four fucking thirty in the morning, motherfucker. I saw him, he's coming in, I saw him. So I, I'm scared now, you know what I mean? I'm starting to get afraid. So I call, I call the girl over. I call a girl over that, uh, you know, take care of me, right? Yeah, I call a girl and I'm thinking, you know, she comes over and she's dressed really nice. You know, it's like five in the morning. She's real, you know, she's just fresh and dope, showered or whatever. And she smelled good and everything. She was kissing on me, touching me. And I was like, I'm glad you're here, whatever. And so she started you know, taking off her shirt. And I'm like, cool. So I took off my shirt because I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you know, we're going to fuck. See, because nobody told me the side effects of cocaine. I don't know them yet. So I'm thinking we're going to fuck. So we start easy touching, whatever. Dude, my shit doesn't work. That's fucked up. She's pulling, playing, kissing and acting. (laughs) 
You gotta hold it from the bottom like this. Hold it, hold it from the bottom like that. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Woo! So that was the last time I did cocaine, partner. That was it, bro. I will never give up my noche for cocaine ever again. I smoke a joint, two tacos de barbacoa, and bam! Uh, uh, come here, come here. Uh, you ain't got a whole nothing from the bottom. But that's, that's, that's the way it was, fucker. That's, you know what I mean? And, you know, and, and that's, what I've, that's what I've done. And, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I keep it real, fuckers. And, you know, I'm, so I'm home in town. I'm, 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 I can tell you some secret shit, you know what I mean? That we could just stay here at night. But that, that ecstasy shit, that ecstasy's really scary. Ecstasy's scary because that shit makes you feel really good. You know what I mean? It makes you feel real good, and I've never done it. I was 35 years old. I'm 40, fuckers. I'm not a little kid, all right? So I, I try, I'm 35 years old the first time that I tried ecstasy. And since then, I've done it about, I don't know, about 8, 9, 10, 15, 20 times. I'm about to, I don't know. About 22 times, right on that 23. <laughs> Uh, it's just, you know, girls, man, peer pressure. You just don't know. Girls, you can make guys look, dude. The, the first time, that shit's been around me a long time. None of my homeboys can make me do that shit. I would never do it. But I was in Lubbock, and I was with these two pretty white girls. It was, there were two pretty white girls, and we were at the club, and we were talking and talking, and, and then the club was closed, and they were like, look, me and my girlfriend, we like you. We want you to come home with us. So here, take this and, and come with us. Come spend the night with us. And I was like, okay, I go spend the night with y'all, but I don't need to take that. I don't, I don't take drugs. And, She's like, no, this ain't really a drug. It's like, hey, she's gonna make you feel really good. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I'll smoke a joint. I'm cool, man. Y'all take it. And she's like, well, we already took one, and we want you to take one. And I'm like, but I don't do that. And she's like, you don't get it, but you don't know what this is for. This ecstasy, you don't understand what it does to you. And I'm like, no, I, I I've tried other shit and it didn't work, so I, I'm, I'm afraid. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm afraid to take shit that I don't know what the fuck. And, and she's like, well, look, this is really good. This won't affect you at all, sexually. I was like, really? She's like, yeah. She goes, look, let me put it like this. If you take this, me and my girlfriend are gonna take you home and fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> and I was like, nah. <laughs> For real? <laughs> she said, you think we're playing? So they started touching and kissing on each other. She's like, okay, I believe you, bitch. Give me the pill, give me the pill. Give me the pill. So. You know, so I take the pill, dude, right? I take it, dude. Fuck, I had a little dolphin on it. I went to fucking little pill like that. It ain't gonna do shit. So I take the pill. This is gonna take you, it's gonna take about an hour to hit you. Like, yeah, whatever, you know what I mean? You know, I'm thinking that I'm gonna control that shit, that it, I, it's not gonna hit me, right? And so, you know, we're, we're, we're about to leave and, and we're talking. And I start, you know, just saying bye to everybody and everything. And, and I started thinking, you know, I've been in a couple of threesomes before, but one of them was like really bad. You know, cause I got invited to a threesome by two lesbians, you know, which, didn't make no sense, you know what I mean? Because they don't like guys. You know what I mean? And, and, and they told me they were lesbians, and I was like, well, me too, because I don't like guys either. I like, I like the same shit you like. The same shit you like, that's what I like, you know what I mean? I, 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 so, you know, but they were really lesbians. They, like, touched on me a little bit, we all got naked, and then they started, you know, together, and, and, and they just kept on together, and, and, and kept on, and kept on, I'm like, Fuck, like 20 minutes later, I'm like, fuck, you, you know what I mean? I was like, excuse me? Can I lick something now, please? Can somebody sit on my face for a little while, please? She was like, oh, I'm sorry, we thought you just wanted to watch. I'm like, fuck, no, I want to participate, what the fuck? I was just being polite and waiting for my turn. It's like jump rope. When you jump rope like that, you gotta wait like that. I was waiting. When they move, I was gonna jump in there. But they never move. But they move. God damn. It's like, fuck. They, they never move, man. Too much shit back on. I walked away. They didn't even see me leave. I just let it. Fuck it. I left the door open there. They fucked them up. <laughs> I stole some of the jewelry, whatever. You know, man. But uh, anyway, I'm thinking about these two girls, right? Because now I, t I took that, that tab, right? Whatever, ecstasy, whatever. And I'm, I'm in the car, and I start feeling it. I start feeling it in the car. It just starts hitting me, man, and, and it makes you feel, like, really, really good. And I saw Bad Boys. I saw Martin when he did it by accident and shit, you know what I mean? I saw uh, the one with Jack Black where the principal takes it, whatever, the dean. And so, you know, I don't think it's going to be like that. But fine. 
I, I took it, it starts hitting me, and it, everything just starts feeling real good. Everything. I'm touching the back of the seat and shit, like, God. I was touching the window, like, God, look how smooth it is, look. <laughs> Fucking glass is so smooth. Dude, it, it was, it was, you know what I mean? We got to their house, we got to their house, and they sat me in this fucking chair, and, they, and they, they sat me down, and then they took off their shirts, and they took off my shirt, and then they started kissing me. Both girls, there was two girls kissing me going down. And, and yeah, that's what I said, you know what I mean? Cause like, that's like every man's fantasy. No, no, that's my fantasy, I fucked up. That's my fantasy, fuckers, okay? That didn't, I, I, I fucked up. I said every man, that's not every man. And I said that all the girls look, look at their man. The guy's looking all straight like, I fucked up, okay? Your man does. It's, that's my fantasy. You, trust me, don't don't start no shit over this, okay? But I know Mexican girls, you don't forget shit. You, you'll sit here all fucking night and laugh with your. You'll sit here and laugh all night with your husband, and then when you're in the car and away home. So that what you want? Why right? you want to put that? Is every man's fantasy? I don't want to say it. That's what Juan said. That's what he said. Is every man's fantasy? Like, no, they have those are jokes. You're my fantasy. I don't need it. I could barely make you come here. You think I want two girls? No. I gotta go like that real fast. It's too hard. Yeah. I could barely make you come here. No. It's too much work. It's too much work. <laughs> so that was my fantasy, fuckers. I got these two pretty girls kissing me going down, and I caught my snap a little bit, and I was like, hold up, hold up. Is this shit free? <laughs> Cause I didn't know. That's a fantasy, right? So I didn't know. I was like, is this free? Cause I only got like $180, but y'all can have that shit. That's like $90 each. Y'all can go to Ross and buy a lot of shit with $90. <laughs> That's about eight, nine outfits right there. And they were like, no man, just relax. Quit tripping, just behave, listen. So they started doing that. They, two girls went down and started messing with me, right? And it was weird, man, because it was it was two of them, and I, it, you know, and they were like little freaky, and it was fun for a little while, but then it got too freaky, cause one of the girls started like you know going like lower and lower, one of them stayed on top, the other one kept going lower and lower, and she got like too low, fuckers, you know what I mean? She got too low, and, and she licked my cola. Yeah. Now look, look, ladies, I was married for a while. I've been divorced now for a few years. I don't know when that shit started or who started that or whatever, but you just can't go around licking any guy in the cola if you don't, you know what I mean? You gotta tell him or warn him or something. She licked my cola. I ain't never felt that shit before. I was like... Cochina. And why you do that shit? Everything was okay, why you do that shit? And, and the girl was cool, the girl was cool. She was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you don't like it, you want me to stop? I was like, no. <laughs> but you can't tell nobody, because I'm on TV, right? You can't tell and we're not kissing no more, you know that, right? We're not kissing no more. <laughs> you kiss me, I'm gonna go out like that. <laughs> Cause you know, I'm a fucking, I'm a man, fuckers, and I thought if a girl licked your cola, that would make you gay. I thought if a girl licked your cola, that would make you gay. But fellas, I looked it up on the internet, good news, it's not gay, fuckers. That's right. If your wife loves you or your girlfriend or whatever, and she loves you and she licks your cola, that's not, that's love, fuckers. But ladies, ladies, look, you gotta do it right, ladies. There's only one way to do it to a man, and you can only do it for a little bit. You don't, don't do it too much, because it, it's out of hand. Just, you know, a minute or two, that's it. And, and this is the only way you can do it. Your tongue has gotta be real soft, and you go like this. That's how you do it. That's not gay like that, look. You can't make your tongue all hard. That's gay, that's gay. Oh, you know that's gay, fucker. No, that's gay. <laughs> Man, I'm doing lick the cola jokes. What? What'd you say, fucker? <laughs> Man, 
You got a little tizzy, huh? Everybody was like, uh. I saw the cola liquor, so it don't matter. Right? They, they, they couldn't control themselves. They're like, yeah! <laughs> Cochinas. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. It's all about. It's all about that now, sexiness, everything's sex, the videos are sex and everything. And it's cool, man. I mean, you know, you're growing up and stuff. And it's hard, though, for me because I'm 40. I'm single. It's hard to find somebody that's compatible to me because I'm 40 years old, fuckers, you know what I mean? And, but I don't, you know, like, sometimes I meet a girl and she's real cool. We got a lot of shit in common. But then I like be like, how old are you, 24? And like, fine. <laughs> like, my son's old. He's 19. He's over there. He, he, <laughs> what's your mom doing? It's hard for me to find a 40-year-old that you know that that's compatible to me, cause I don't act like a normal 40-year-old man. I like to I like to smoke a blunt, jump some Tupac, go for a ride, you know what I mean? And shit like that. Most 40-year-old most 40-year-old girls want to fucking watch the Life Channel or some shit. I got a movie. Like, oh, fuck. is it lesbian? <laughs> Dang. So it, it's just really hard, man. And you know, and, and girls, and when you do meet somebody, you know things have changed so much. Because girls have gotten, like like I said, freakier. And, and the oral sex thing is like, it's, it's like mandatory. If you're a guy, you, you got to eat panocha, bro. That's it. That, that's it. That, you know what I mean? That's it. That's the new millennium. That's it. Black people, for a while, you had it made. Fuck it, back. Like in the 90s, black dudes had it made. Like I went to Smiley for a while, right? So I was like, there was a lot of black dudes there. And they were talking about eating panocha. And they'd be like, you eat panocha? And the black dudes were like, no, fuck that. I don't eat no panocha, motherfucker. I got a big dick. I don't got to eat panocha. Anymore. My dick, my dick bigger than Wheatley's dick. So drug me. <laughs> but you got to. If you're a black man now, you got to, fuckers. It don't matter. Because if you're a black man in this year and age, and then you don't eat panocha, Fucker, you're gonna get replaced. <laughs> you come home one day, your king gonna work. Hold up, dog. <laughs> Tamika tripping. <laughs> Tamika! Bitch, don't change the lock on the nigga, dog. <laughs> Tamika! You're gonna see your grass all cut nice and neat. And you're gonna see a fucking ice cream bike in the driveway. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> You be a, a big dick walking the street, lonely motherfucker. <laughs> you feel me, dog? I know, nigga. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. You gotta do that. But it, but it's weird now because it's like even on the first dates. You know what I mean? Like you know, I thought it, if a guy would go down to a girl, like when I used to date girls, whatever, they used to be like a two-week grace period. You mean, at least you, you know, you want to do a little background check on the panocha, check the mileage, you know what I mean, check, get some references or something, you know what I mean? You don't just meet a girl and eat a panocha on the first day, but you got to. Girls don't, girls expect that on the first day. You know what I mean? Girls, you do that. I, I'll meet a girl sometimes and they don't even let you suck a chichi no more. When you suck a chichi, they just start putting it. Like, what the fuck is going on? What? I just met you at 1250. What the fuck? <laughs> it's 2.30. This girl wants you to go down. He's a panocha, man. Like, God damn. And you know, we're men. We fucking do it. We're like, God, I cannot be in how you make this girl right now. And look at my house. We're looking for that too, man. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all right if the lady is hygiene is kept up. That's cool. When you meet a lady, they, 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 you know what I mean? Like when I meet a girl and, and we're gonna go kick it and, and we're gonna spend the night, we get to the room, I go straight to the shower. And I got the good shower gel, the, the expensive shit. So I go in there, I, 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 I fresh up everything. Take a good, you know, quick shower. And I come out and I give her the towel and there you go. You know what I mean? That's, it's understood. Now we can be comfortable. But sometimes you meet a girl after the club and you jump a shower and you give her everything and she don't wanna take a shower. And you know, then you start messing with her and kissing on her. And, and you're like, you know, okay, you go you jump in the shower, yeah. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> so, man. So, you know, and, and you start thinking like, it's, it's fucked up because sometimes the girls, you know, you, you gotta freshen up your panocha. <laughs> like if I just met you at a club and you've been dancing all night, your panocha's been sweating four or five hours and shit. That, that's fucked up, ladies. I mean, you've been peeing all night long. 
all them dreams you done drank, they, they ran out of toilet paper like at 11 o'clock. <laughs> they ain't even no toilet paper. And then sometimes you don't even finish peeing. Sometimes you're peeing and you hear your fucking favorite song. Oh, that's what Jenna bitches does! And then, you know, so you know you're kind of fucked up. But when I was taking a shower, you got your piece of bottle sprays from the person. So now, you know, we're kissing you and it smells like strawberries and peaches and everything. And it's good. And, and you start pushing us down there and we're going down there. And then we kiss the panocha and it fucking tastes like mole or some shit. <laughs> we go down there and shit peek at like... Look, watch your way, I got tears, look, I got tears. Bitch, you like me, must watch that. And that, that's fucked up, ladies. That's fucked up because, see, I shouldn't even tell you this. Every man that goes down on a girl, they become a gentleman. They do, we become a gentleman and we don't, we don't embarrass you. None of you ladies, you can laugh at that, Joe, because none of you ladies have ever been embarrassed by a man like that. I don't think you ladies ever had a guy go down on you and you're fucked up and a guy jumps up. What the fuck, Mr. Billy? What? Come on, man. Look at that. Come, come on. That's fucked up. Why you let me go down there? You know you... Come on. Yeah. That's never happened to you, ladies. That, that's not going to happen. Every man has had some bad panocha. And every man just says the same shit. Every man goes down there and they hit bad panocha, they just go, fuck. <laughs> and fucking body sprays. And now we're trying to make you feel good. We're doing shit we never done. We gotta like lick the panocha, then lick the blanket. I mean, ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna kiss this bitch in a minute. You gonna taste this shit? Ah, you gonna taste this shit? Ah, ah. You gonna taste some of this? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta eat the panocha like you fucking drink a Corona with sal and limon, you know what I mean? Panocha, sal and limon. Panocha, sal and limon. We gotta try and fool you and do it with our fingers. You know? <laughs> Fuckers. Uh. <laughs> it's funny, but it's real shit, fuckers. And ladies, you know, this is, this is the part that I don't understand. When you grab a guy and you like him and you push him down there and you, you know, make him kind of do that, ladies, you know, you gotta return the favor. Those are part of the rules, fuckers. The, those are the rules. It, 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 it. What's up? Oh, you be happy to? Oh, that's cool, man. Where, where's, where's your man at? Oh, you don't? Oh, wait, let me get my phone number real quick. Shit. Hold up, fucking right here. Hey, I'm negative. Don't even worry about that. <laughs> she fucked me up, dude. But watch, watch this. How old are you? You see, 23. <laughs> What's your mom doing? <laughs> oh, you're a whole lot of woman. Man, you're 23. You can't handle a man like me. I, I'm a man, man. I, I'm 40 years old. Fuck, I'm like a, I'm like a pussyologist. <laughs> I can't do it. You can't handle me. I've been eating panocha for a long time. Fuck it. I, I done watch movies, read books, study films and shit. And I used to hang out with lesbians so I could learn how to eat the panocha. I'd be like, let me see move your hair. Oh, you're supposed to lick that little thing up top? I didn't know that. I was only licking by the corner and shit. I thought I was... Man. I had bad breath for a month. You didn't say shit, Cochina. There's a little thing on top. You didn't even say nothing. But I learned, you know what I mean? You learn. That's why I, I can't even go out with black girls anymore, you know what I mean? Because I was in a row with like Chris Rock and Steve Harvey and stuff. So a lot of sisters were coming up to me like, ooh, we sell new Latino man. And, but I fuck them up. Black girls can't handle me. You know, they be talking shit at the show. Whatever, come on. Like, man, I'll take a black girl home and go down on her, I'll fuck her up. <laughs> Tomorrow she'll change her whole life. She'll change her name to Maria Josefina Ramirez. <laughs> put, her, put her name in the back of her car to Mika. And, what piece of prom dresses at Walmart that you go? Shit. <laughs> Man. 
gotta return the favor, ladies. And you know what? And it's cool if you're a lady and you don't you don't do that. It's cool if you just tell us. You know what I mean? Like if you push us down there and then you don't tell us or don't don't do nothing, that's kind of fucked up. But you could be kind of cool. You know what I mean? Just just tell us. Like you know, stop us before we go down there. And be like, hey, I know what you're gonna do, but I don't do that. Then we're not expecting nothing. And be like, it's alright, fucker. Just relax. I do you. And it's okay. <laughs> but don't push us down there. And then it's our turn. And you start getting dressed, looking at us all stupid and shit. We're like, hey! <laughs> She's putting on her shit. Well, oh, I don't do that. I didn't tell you. Like, no, bitch, you didn't tell me. I'm going like that. I'm like, hey, man, what the fuck? Man, that's just fucked up. That's what's fucked up, man. And you know, I, I get in trouble. I get in trouble for doing this joke. You know, I, I do it all the time because you know it's, it's it's strategic. But I I have to do this. You know, at oral sex, white girls they beat everybody. They do, fuckers. I know there's a lot of Mexican girls. There's a lot of Mexican girls that say that. You know, you just haven't had the right one. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm 40, me. I'm still young. I mean, I haven't. Maybe I haven't. And if I get the right one, then I'll come back and I'll tell everybody I was wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> But right now, white girls, they beat everybody. Yeah. You don't believe me? That's his brother right here. I'm talking about by the name. <laughs> Nigga, they don't even know what I'm talking about. Shit. Look at this white girl in the front row, motherfuckers. <laughs> we going to the front row, baby. Shit. That's right, because white girls can do that. That's just a gift. They just, they can do that. Mexican girls and black girls, they don't just suck a dick right away. They want to go down and stare at it for like 10 minutes and shit. They want to become pizza CSI investigators right there in the spot. And... <laughs> How come it's crooked? <laughs> it ain't crooked, it just leans a little bit to the left. What the fuck? <laughs> That's for your enjoyment. It just leans a little bit. That's it. They be trying to take shit out the dick that he's supposed to come out the dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Mm. And white girls don't do that. White girls, as soon as they walk, man, they come here, motherfucker. I love you. All right, all right. <laughs> shit. That'll fuck a Mexican. That'll fuck a Mexican up right away. A Mexican will be like, God damn. Shit, Josefina ain't never done no shit like this. I love you, Amber. <laughs> I'm gonna buy you a trailer house in Pasadena tomorrow, that <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, pull a strawberry, pull a strawberry. Pull a... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, man. I did this joke, man. I, I, I told a story last time, but this is, it's, it's true. It's a funny story, man. There was a, a black lady one time, because I did just joking. You know, they, they said it on the radio, but uh, this is something I'm proud of. Some people think it ain't shit or nothing, you know, other comic, uh, whatever. But BET kind of blew me up a little bit. I'm the only comic who's done BET 11 times. You know what I mean? It's a black entertainment, and I've done it 11 times. Fuckers. So like, that's why I'm under a whole lot, and it's cool. I, so I got a. A, a lot, a lot of black fans. Like when I go to the East Coast, they're my black fans. Like, I know, fuck it, I, I know, y'all know, I know. I go to Alabama, Mississippi, it'd be like a thousand seater, it'd be like 800 black people, and I don't know where these 200 Mexicans came out. Like, what these motherfuckers? <laughs> like, and I'm scared to do wetback jokes because they might not be on my team and shit, you know what I mean? Like, hold oh, no, on, these motherfuckers might really be more howling, they might not understand my humor, so I like, so, but I, I got a lot of black fans, so I did some shows at Just Joking. And I sold out, it was a comedy club on Richmond. I sold out like four or five shows that weekend. And it was like 400 black people in the room, right? And there was about 10 white people, they were by the door. They were about to leave though, in case some shit happened. They were scared. Right? They sat right by the door and shit, dude. They were like, they were like, really like, you know what I mean? So, you know, this lady got really upset when I said that. This black lady jumped up and she was really mad. And she just jumped up for anybody. So what? So, so what? So what? You know, being I'm loud and shit. I'm like, what, man? What are you trying to say? So what? White girls can suck dick, but they don't know how to cook. I was like, shit, so what? <laughs> oh, 
my white girl sucks dick real good, she ain't got a cook. I'll take her out to eat every fucking day. The movies go to corral. Chinese buffet. Take it to Rice's, hey, wherever you wanna go, baby. Shit, my, my white girl freaking fucking come home one day or I come home, what's up, baby? I don't like that stove in the kitchen. Fuck that stove, I don't like it either, shit. You wanna go to Luby's? <laughs> right, Doug? <now>? Man. <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry, man. Hey, listen up, man. Look, the waste staff loves when I do shows here is because I sell out and they always get tipped good. So please take care of your waste staff. I'll give it up one more time for the waste staff. Hey, I have to give me all screens and stuff. They make all this happen, man. And I've kept them really, really late. I apologize. I was supposed to get off. Of, I already went over like 20 minutes, fucker. I was like, no, I got that. They got to go home too, man. They, they might fire one of them and they come back. And, you know, <laughs> I'll be here tomorrow. Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> the ring. <laughs> you gotta come back tomorrow for that one, fucker. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be hard, cause you know, tomorrow De La Hoya and the Rockets play, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be here with my grandma, my tío, my <laughs> uh, You know what, check this out, fuckers. You know, I know some of De La Hoya's people, and they know me, cause we do shows in Montebello's at this place, uh, it's called Gotham's, and, and we, it's called Tortillas now, but it used to be called Gotham's, and I met De La Hoya like several times. So they invited me to the fight. I had tickets to go to the fight, but I got four boys and they only, I only had two tickets. So my manager was like, you know, we gonna go out, we have a good time. I'm like, well, I was gonna take somebody else. And my sons were like, hey dad, who are you gonna take? Right? My oldest, I'm the oldest dad, now I'm the youngest. You know what I mean? Then I had my friends and the girls with Panocha saying, I know you're gonna take one of us, right? And I'm like, not the Vegas. <laughs> I'll take you to movies. <laughs> There's a lot of Panocha in Vegas. <laughs> I just made about three of my girls mad. <laughs> She's gone already. <laughs> no, man, but, uh, you know, I got invited to the fight, man, and I just, I chose to stay home, man, and kick it with you fuckers. So thank y'all for coming out and supporting me. I had a good time, bro. Wouldn't give it up. Wouldn't give it up, fuckers. Love being here. And you know what? L let me clear up something, man, so, so I won't offend nobody. Nothing. Let me tell you the secret behind the dick-sucking joke, okay? <laughs> There's a theory. It was like me and about three other comics. We were in LA, we were smoking, and we came up with this. And we thought that you know, if we say shit like this, that the Mexican girls, of course, would try harder. <laughs> that's, that's the whole thing. So see, all you men in here, Mexican men, whatever, black men, whatever you are, see, tonight, you're gonna go home and get one of the best fucking blowjobs you ever got, because the mean motherfuckers, they're gonna try hard. Mexican girls will suck your dick and make tortillas at the same time. <laughs> Can Amber do this, Poco? Can Amber do this? Huh? Watch out. I really am. <laughs> hey, listen up, man. I'm sorry I kept you fucked this late. You know, my shows always change. Uh, I'm going to be here until Sunday, so if y'all want to come back, I don't ever really do the same stuff, man. Sometimes, you know, I do because people be asking me, like, this fucking, do the ring! And then I do the ring, and then other people be like, how come you didn't do the more house shit? And then, You're a white girl? <laughs> Uh, calling the white girls? Yeah. Well, I, no, I like white girls. <laughs> well, are y'all white or what? Oh, you just dyed your hair blind? Or you... <laughs> are those black roots? What the fuck? Let me... <laughs> All wet up here, black boys. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit don't even match. Hold up. <laughs> you think it's a white girl wet out all up here and beat your black boys? Like, oh. no, my I thought you had good credit and everything. <laughs> I was looking for a co-signer. Now listen up, man. I'm gonna. Uh, I got some DVDs that I recorded. Actually, I got about four or five of them that I haven't released because, uh, uh, you know, Walmart. We're working a deal. We're kind of being structured right now with Walmart. And I know, you know, Walmart is like whatever Walmart. But fuckers, you don't understand. I came from Denver Harbor. I made it to the flea market. Now I'm being Walmart, motherfuckers. Shit. So I'm gonna be in Walmart. And fuck Roback. Roback better not cut my prices. I know that motherfucker. I'll stab that motherfucker. Okay, if y'all see Roback stab his ass for me, I'll give you $100. I don't like that fucker. Be slashing prices. Listen up. Uh, can you have a t shirt? Okay. Oh, no, I can give you this one. <laughs> fucker. <laughs> Man, my shit. Can I have your shirt? I'm going to 
Don't let this is a, this is a fake wash, man. This is, I'm not really, I'm not rich like you. Don't let this cosmetic jewelry fool you and shit. Can I have your shirt? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, I never had that. I'm all sweaty and shit, like, but she not. Is that your girl now? Who's that girl? Is that your homegirl or what? Yeah, she, right, I, she, I know. Listen up, man, listen up. Thank y'all for staying late and stuff. We made some t-shirts, especially for Cinco de Mayo, and they're just some, they're just some t-shirts if you want one, man. We ain't got that many, and we got like three or four different sizes, so if you want one, get one, fucker. They're 20 bucks. I know they're kind of expensive, but I'm expensive, fuck out. It just says Juan Villarreal, Texas bad boy, and then it says fucker, you know what I mean? That's it. So if you want one, man, you can get one on later, whatever, make payments, whatever, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Listen up, though, man. I got a lot of projects coming up in the future, but I want you to know this and understand this, and I want you to feel this, fuckers. Wherever I go, wherever I'm at, I know where I'm from and, and who I am. And no matter where I'm at, fuckers, I'm gonna always represent